In this video, we will learn how to play PlayStation 1 games on Android phone with the help of DuckStation emulator. Guys, I'm not kidding and this is definitely not a clickbait. You can see clearly that I'm playing PS1 games on my Android device. For your kind information, my device has just an entry-level chipset, but I can run any PS1 games smoothly with high definition and 60 FPS. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm gonna guide you how to set up the DuckStation station emulator settings and best configuration control customization and how to install roms in the tax station emulator it's a complete tutorial so watch the full video carefully please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button The Dark Station Emulator is a popular application that can turn any Android device into a PS1 console. It well known for its high compatibility and performance. Users can download the application from the Google Play Store and it supports various features such as customizable graphics settings, support for different input methods, you can use external controller, cheats and many more. Before we are going to install the Dark Station Emulator, please have a look what we need to run the DAC station emulator. We need total three elements such as DAC station emulator herself, PlayStation 1, Biosphere, ROMs or game files. You can see I have already managed these elements and I recommend you at first create a folder in the internal storage of your phone and give it a name such as PS1 then move all the files there. Fair not because I will show you in this video how and where I got these files. Let's download the DAC station application on our Android phone. The DAC station application is available in the google play store so open the google play store and search for duck station emulator download the application from the google play store or you can download from their website after that install the application our next step is to download the bias file the playstation 1 bias file is a mandatory element for duck station emulator you can easily manage ps1 bias file from several sources after downloading the bias file move it to the folder we created earlier unfortunately I can share any links here. You can join our Discord server for more information. The next element we need to manage is the PS1 ROM or game file. Now let's launch the Tax Station application. We are going to see a welcome screen from the Tax Station emulator. Just click on the next button and at the next page we will get settings option. We can configure and adjust it according to your device. You can set the theme of this application dark or light. For GPU renderer I would like to select Vulkan. You can try OpenGL also. If you are confused about it then try automatically. This application will decide how which one is the best for you. Resolution scale means it will increase or decrease your native display resolution. You can go up to 16x but I prefer to use 5x which is equal to 1080p. Aspect ratio is a wide screen 16 by 9 and the emulation screen orientation is a landscape. Enable expand to cutout area and wide screen hack. Now you can click on the next button. On the next page they are going to ask you to import the BIOS file which we have already downloaded. Click on import BIOS and navigate to the PS1 folder where you have placed your BIOS files. This one over here corresponds to the USB S1 console however it won't make any difference if you are using BIOS files from a different region. As you can see our bin file has been imported. Click on the next button. Now it will ask you to select the directory or folder where you placed the ROM file or IOS file click on the plus icon over here and navigate to your ps1 folder click on use this folder to give access to duck station to use our phone storage then click on next button our primary setup is complete you just have to click on the finish button you can see our games are now displaying in the game library you can switch from list to grid mode you can notice that games have no cover click and hold on the game and you can upload the cover from here let's quick start a game 
game as you can see the game is going to launch in the duck station emulator at this point i would like to switch in the device orientation portrait to landscape mode as it allows for much better gameplay guys you can see i'm playing final fantasy which is a playstation 1 game as you can see i have all the normal controls like the playstation 1 controller the gaming experience depends on the game you are playing and how powerful your phone or tablet is here at the sidebar you will find some options if you want to save the game state you just have to click on the plus icon at the top right corner then select save state choose one of the empty slot to save the game and if you want to load the save state just click on the plus icon again select load state then select one of the save slots that's it guys my humble request if you think this video is useful please like and subscribe to our channel any type of help or information you can join our discord server no more today see you in the next video take care